Hello, it's me, Yvonne, your local non-binary witch, and I want to talk to you about why I love the runes. So um, a lot of people are really into the tarot, and that's completely valid. Um, the tarot is, in essence, a Christian set of symbols. People have tried to kind of retro-engineer them to be pagan, but really, at bottom, they are Christian symbols. Um, so if that's your bag and you like the Western mystery tradition, that's totally fine. Um, but I really like the runes and there are numerous reasons why that is. One is that they are completely connected to Norse mythology. So I really love Norse mythology and the Norse gods. And um, let me tell you straight away that the Norse gods are opposed to racism and other things that might be said in there said to be something to do with them they are not about rich racial purity or any of that um the vikings were huge traders across the known world uh, they also raided things um but they were also um explorers and travelers they sailed down the river volga they um, they reached the Middle East and um, Byzantium, or Miklagard as they called it. Um, and uh, there was even there's even um, a runic inscription that's been found that is um, dedicated to Allah, the you know the Muslim concept of God. So clearly the Vikings were very very cosmopolitan, right? Um, so they didn't just, you know, hang out in in um, fjords and drink mead and get drunk. Um, they were a very sophisticated culture. And one of the things that they did was um, they had the runes. Now, the runes may be derived from Etruscan writing. because They're very, very similar. Um, and there are many different versions of runes from different parts of the Scandinavian world. Um, but uh, the one that I use is the Northumbrian runes. And uh, there was an excellent book on that subject by Nigel Panic. One of the reasons I love the runes is that they have um, meanings that are to do with nature. Uh, so for example, we have um, cattle, we have the wild aurochs, we have thorn, the mouth of a river, um, a wheel, a fiery torch could also be um, a woman's vagina. Uh, we have the, the exchange of gifts, um, the experience of joy, um, the hail. We have the need fire, ice, the harvest, the wheel of the year, um, yew trees, a cave, an elk, um, the sun, the rays of the sun. Uh, the, the pillar that upholds the heavens, the birch tree, the horse, man, a lake or a wave, um, fertility, home, a door or the dawn, um, dig, which just means day really, but it can be seen as a door opening or it can be seen as the dawn, um, an acorn, uh, a god, a yew bow, the world serpent, earth, um, quails, I can't remember what quails means now. Um, anyway, it's a natural concept. Uh, calc, uh, an upturned chalice, and a stone, and then finally gar, a spear. So they're all really, you know, symbols that represent everyday experience. And they were also a form of writing and they could be used for divination. Now, the great thing about the runes, as I see it, is that they have the magic that's associated with them. You have Galdra, which is the singing of the names of the runes. You have bind runes, where you combine the different runes together to make magical sigils. And uh, you can do divination with them, as I mentioned. And when you do divination with the runes, you're tapping into Norse cosmology. So you're actually, um, each rune is assigned to a different path on the world tree. A different time of year um, and it connects to a different 
realms, the worlds, the nine worlds that are on the world tree. Um, and each rune feels to me like the opening or doorway to a realm of energy to do with that rune. Um, and I see the runes as a doorway to those realms. For me, a tarot card is just a painted curtain across the door and it's blocking my access to, to the realm. Whereas a rune is a doorway to the realm of energy. Um, and uh, as I mentioned in another video, the runes are said to have been discovered by Odin um, while he was hanging on the world tree. So they are the result of a shamanic ordeal or experience. Um, so for me, the runes are a complete system of magic in themselves. They're very connected to nature. They're clearly to do with ancient paganism and polytheism. Uh, or heathenry and um, there's a whole set of mythology and cosmology associated with them because you've got Yggdrasil and the nine worlds um, and the gods and the stories that go with them so for example um, one time Thor went fishing and accidentally caught the world serpent and so there's a rune that's associated with Thor which is the rune Thorn. And there's also a rune associated with a world serpent, which is Eeyore. So you could, you know, if you got those runes together in a reading, it might symbolize biting off more than you can chew because it's, because they are the runes of those gods, of those beings. And, um, you know, there's, if you got Eeyore, which is also about the, the yew tree rune, which is about going down into the underworld, um, it might be to do with Odin's descent to the well of Mimir to gain wisdom. That's how he lost his eye, because he exchanged it for wisdom at the well of Mimir. <clears throat> so there are many, many stories associated with the gods and the runes, and the runes help us to remember those stories, and they help us to remember the structure of the nine worlds and the different worlds on the world tree. So a uh, complete system of magic, in themselves, um, very rich in symbolism and completely connected to nature and, you know, the land and everyday experience. And that's why I love the roots. So take care out there and bless it be.